Hi guys, welcome back to a case of econ struggles and welcome to an asset pricing struggle. What I want to do in these videos is talk about the asset pricing from a bunch of different models. So for example, Aero Debreu asset pricing, I want to talk about Lucas tree pricing, I want to talk about sequential market pricing, and any other sort of asset pricing that you guys are struggling with. I'm not 100% sure how high the demand for this topic is. So what would be really helpful is if you're interested in these videos, if you're going to watch all of these videos, if you want to see some new videos on asset pricing, it would be really helpful to put some stuff in the comments below. I'm basically going to use the number of comments and the number of likes to determine how much I prioritize this series over some of my other series currently in progress. So that engagement is really going to help me make that determination. And just to give you a little more information, let's talk about how I foresee laying out this series. So like I said, this asset price struggle series is gonna have a lot of parts. Here's sort of the first five that I envision. Again, this doesn't include things like Lucas Tree pricing or why Lucas Tree pricing doesn't have arbitrage in its prices, which again would be future parts of this series. But what I foresee sort of happening is starting out today with just a very simple ADE asset price where you're given a certain amount of goods in every period and then adding an uncertainty to that, talking about a risk-free error de brew asset given uncertainty talking about a more general ADE asset price, and also talking about multiple periods ADE or Aero Debreu asset pricing. And again, this would just be the first five videos. So if this makes a lot of sense, again, if you think this would be really helpful, there's other asset pricing in particular you want me to cover, please leave that in the comments below. And again, if there's a lot of demand, if there's a lot of engagement on this video, I'm gonna prioritize that. I'm gonna start pumping out those videos. I'll put some of my other projects on hold because again, I wanna make sure that I put out videos that you guys find the most helpful. But since you're here, let's just start off with a simple AD asset price. And to start off with, maybe it's helpful just to review Aero Debreu Equilibrium. Maybe if it's been a hot second, it's been a hot second for me. So remember that we've got infinite time. All trades are made at time equals zero and we just execute those trades throughout the time. We have an endowment of goods each day. We've got a time discount factor beta, which is less than one. We've got a utility function, U of CT, and I'm just gonna leave that generally as a utility function. Remember that we have prices PT, because again, in the Aero de Brew market, at T equals zero, you're walking down this street where people are selling the goods at each given time, even if you only have one good. Remember that a good sold at different times is basically the same as two different goods, and you take your endowment to this market, and you go ahead and you trade for goods in time equals one, three, and five, maybe on the left side, and you buy goods for time equals two, four, and six on the right-hand side. Again, this goes into the infinite future. No uncertainty here. Everything's known. This is just how a basic ADE works. And again, we solved the utility maximization problem for an agent. We found that prices were equal to beta to the T if I normalize P0 to be one. And again, what's gonna happen is we're gonna have that people consumption smooth perfectly. So CIT is going to be CI0 for all T. Again, I've got a whole series on Aero Debreu Equilibrium videos. I'll post that right here in the top corner if you want to go off into that series. But hopefully this just rings some bells and gives you a nice little review of what's happening. The reason we're reviewing this is because we're talking about asset pricing. And if I want to know how to price an asset, I need to know what the prices are in this Aero Debreu world. So let's just talk about the price of a general asset. Remember that the price of a general asset should just be what it's worth to you. So let's say that you've got an asset and we're talking about coconuts. We'll make the consumption good coconuts. And you want a coconut, you don't want one coconut, you want 0 0.05 coconuts in every period. Again, a coconut or any good is perfectly divisible. And you are trying to figure out how much you want to pay for that asset. And you say, well, I know that the total value of that asset is what I'm willing to pay for it. That's my maximum willingness to pay. So notice that this worth it's worth 0 0.05 coconuts in every period. So if I take 0 0.05 and multiply it by the price in every period, again, the PT is just gonna be beta to the T. So I'm just gonna put that into a summation and I'm going to solve using the math trick that beta to the T is one over one minus beta. And I'm gonna get that my maximum willingness to pay is 0 0.05 over one minus beta. Again, super simple, but again, the thing to know here how much are you willing to pay for that asset? You're willing to pay as much as that asset is worth. That's gonna be the general idea for all of these asset pricing videos in Aero Debreu Equilibrium, but hopefully this just gives you a really basic example of how that works. Again, if these videos are gonna be really useful to you, if you really wanna see these videos, if they're really gonna help you out, please like this video, please comment, let me know that. 
let me know so that I can prioritize or not this video over others. That'll be really helpful, and hopefully we'll see you next time for another case of eConstructs.